Hey Shane, hey just wanted to let you know I'm just leaving town and I should be there in about 10-15 minutes. Perfect man. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. What's up guys? I'm on my way to go see a good friend of mine right now. Um, he called me the other day and said he's got an old PJ car hauler uh, that he needs to get rid of. So the paint's faded, it doesn't look like much, but it's still a good solid trailer. Um, and that got me interested anyway. Uh, he said, I think it's a 2001, 2002 model, so it's an old trailer. Um, so many of them that you see that are that age, that are like 90s, you know, early 2000s trailers, they are ready to be retired. Uh, but this one sounds like it's still in great shape. Obviously, paint's faded and those types of things. But um, my thought was I would love to see if I can grab it and take it to the shop and uh, restore it, see if we can bring it back to its original state and uh, bring some life back to the thing anyway. So come join me, we're gonna go check it out. And uh, he keeps it at the back of his property anyway. We'll see what it looks like and see if we can come up with a game plan anyway. So let's go make it happen. I think I found it. Woo, let's go see. Nice. PJ Dump Trailer too. All right, all right. Hey, hey what's up, buddy? How's it going, That's Shane? Good. I'm good, man. It's good Very to see good. you. Good, good to see you. How's everything? Good. It's going great. Excellent. How's things been with you? Good, busy, like everybody else. That's the point, right? So yeah. So you're here looking at trailer. This is it, huh? Yep. This I figured is, uh, this would be the one. It's a, uh, you know, it's it's been a good little handy trailer. I got it from a friend of mine. Actually, he gave it to me. Uh, no way. He had it for a long way, and he gave it to me, and I was hauling my tractor around. I needed I needed a tractor for or a trailer for my tractor, and he just gave it to me. So I've had it for a few years, and uh, we recently acquired a skid steer, and so um, I needed something a little heavier, heavier axles. That makes and sense. And while I was at it, I think this is an 18, and I needed a 20 footer for a little extra length for the tractor and shredder. So we upgraded, and so time for this one to go. Yeah, and, makes uh, sense. And pretty much a good trailer. It just needs a little love. Well, 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 for great. how old it is, I'm surprised at how, how little love it needs. It looks surprisingly good. Yeah, I don't know. I think we broke a hinge. We had to replace a, a tongue. Yeah, it looks like not the original coupler, but hey, that's okay. Coupler, yeah. I don't know what, I don't remember what your model is, but... Um, old. <laughs> yeah, it's old, but it's, a, I mean, it's solid. I've pulled it a little bit. And, I mean, you know, different distances. Back to Oklahoma a couple times. Pulls good. That's the way, and then the, the, I don't know what size those ramps are. But, you got the rams right here in the I back. I you got your tag tucked up. Straight deck. Yeah, <laughs> the bent up tag. <laughs> so the original fenders. This honestly, I'm wondering if it's the original floor. It, I don't know. It looks old, but it looks good. Yeah, I don't know. And those are yeah. torque screws, but yeah. or, I don't know what they use back in the day. Fenders got a little, little love here and there, but yeah, <clears throat> it's pretty solid. That's so cool. I haven't seen that forever. That's an old, like stamped in. Yeah. PJ on the oh, fender. Pinstriping. <laughs> yeah, it's still got the old pinstriping. Yeah. Uh, tires look good. Sand blasting it. You know, I thought it was a pretty clean trailer. It, uh, it really I guess is. somebody, some point, added a little crank witch on there. Yep. Thought yeah, about, that's definitely not factory. But yeah, that's not factory. Thought about putting cool. a little box with a, a, a winch to, with a receiver that you could temporarily put on there. Mm -hmm. Cat mm -hmm. liked it. Does the cat come with him? Yeah, you can take that cat. <laughs> that's a good one. He's a good mouser. <clears throat> Nice. Well, I like what I see, Shane. Well, good deal, man. You want to haul it home? I just might. All right, here it is. Got it in the shop, and it's looking good. I it it pulls phenomenal. I can't believe how smooth this thing is. Let's go over some of the details uh, and some of the things that we need to maybe fix replace, repair, whatever. Um, it's obviously old, so let's see what this restoration is gonna turn into. Just to confirm, 18 foot long. All right, let's start at the front. This obviously looks like it is not the original coupler to begin with, but it's still just the old style. Nothing wrong with those, but we're gonna go ahead and update that and put on the Demco Easy Latch. That's a definite winner right there. So that'll be where we start, um, safety chains are just old and rusty, need a little bit of help. So that's getting replaced, breakaway is getting replaced. To be honest, this is actually going to be completely new wiring. Um, the breakaway box is gonna be replaced. Uh, there's just, yeah, I, I'm sure that it's old enough that there's some brittle wiring. So we're gonna take care of that completely and replace all of it. So with a new coupler on it, of course, new chains, new harness and all the wiring uh, with the new breakaway box. Uh, the next thing will be the jack. This jack actually works really good. 
nothing wrong with it, but it's also just weathered and that's an easy replacement. So it's getting a new jack. So this little come along system, I'm sure worked well. It's an easy way to load up light stuff anyway, just with the lever here. But uh, you know, it's obviously not a PJ option and, and it's kind of homemade. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it off and give me your thoughts if we should put a winch plate in it and at least be ready to go for a winch. I think that's gonna be needed. Now obviously the floor is far from new. I'm honestly impressed with how good it looks being for how old it is and everything. But rest assured, this floor is coming out. It's getting a new floor. I've got to point out these fenders. This is so cool. Remember, this is an early 2000s model trailer. So it's got the old PJ logo, but this is actually stamped into the fender. That's really cool. We've got some damage on both fenders, obviously, but uh, this may be repairable. So if we can get these fenders to look good, I'm going to keep that. That's super just retro and that's cool. We got to keep that if we can. One thing I just can't decide does it need new paint? I mean, it's still there, right? <laughs> this is definitely original paint. This was before the powder coat days too. So this would have been a spray on style paint. And hey, for the age, it's honestly done a good job. It's some kind of faded, probably red. Your guess is as good as mine, but that's still pretty cool. And I think we're gonna go with the red color this next time around too. Give me your thoughts on that, but I think red's gonna look sharp. Next up is gonna be the lights. The lights actually work on this thing all around, which is really nice, but they're old. They're not LED. I don't even think LED was a thing back when this trailer was built. So, you know, a little refresher. It's gonna get all LED lights. So I haven't pulled the wheels off this thing yet to check out the rest of the suspension and see if there's anything else hiding that we're not aware of. So let's get to it. All right, so let's see what we find. Of course, this is 3,500 pound axles, so you've got brakes in the rear axle, right? Hubs still look great. Springs actually still look great. You can really see the shape of the axles underneath it here. Very impressive. This is an old style brake hub too. Not bad. I like what I see so far. We'll tear into these next. This hub is missing the grease cap, so yeah. Well guys, I guess we've got the rough game plan together. We're gonna see how this all turns out. Let me know if I'm missing anything, but we're going all new stuff. I have the paint color in mind. I have something in mind for the flooring. Uh, I've got to make a call on that, so stay tuned. That's gonna be cool. We're adding the winch plate. Um, and I mean, a lot of things are getting replaced here, so definitely gonna be fun. Stay tuned and watch this thing turn into an all new trailer. Okay, so I've worked up a bit of an estimate on all of the different parts that it's gonna take uh, to get this thing refreshed and uh, refurbished. And it's a, it's a big long list of just all the little things. I gotta account for, for everything here. So um, I originally had a budget of about $2,500. I was really hoping that was going to be able to cover, you know, all of the parts, uh, the paint, the flooring, everything that was going to take. And uh, I'm still waiting on a quote back to get the numbers for the paint and the flooring, which are probably going to be the two most expensive things. Uh, but my fender guy told me that these were in, in much rougher shape than I was originally thinking they were. Um, and that's going to it's going to cost a pretty penny. So we'll see how this works. Uh, but like I say, those things aside, we're already chilling at 2,700 bucks. So. We're definitely shooting over the budget already, um, to be expected, I guess, right? So I've got a few things to work out, but let me know what your thoughts are. Are these fenders gonna be worth it? Um, yeah, the nitty gritty's coming up next. So stay tuned, next video's coming right out. Uh, we're getting down to the business on this thing. So let's get to work.